Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Khurana, your host on Click Digest, and this is the Xiaomi Mi 3 in front of you. In this video, I'm going to give you my honest review of the Xiaomi Mi 3. I've been using this as my primary phone for over a week now, approximately 10 days, and I totally love the experience. In this video, I'm going to tell you what I feel about this phone. I'll talk about some major and important aspects like the build quality, display, design feel of the phone, performance, I'll talk about the battery life, i also talk about the applications that come installed, hardware, software and everything that matters to you as an end consumer. I'll also talk about the value for money aspect and what all this phone comes with. I will also show you camera samples from the front as well as rear camera and I will also talk about the video viewing experience, the loudness of the audio quality of this phone and everything that you need to know before you make a purchase decision for the Xiaomi Mi 3. Let's get started. I'll start with the most basic thing which is what all you get with this phone. So there are not many things that you get with Xiaomi Mi 3, just this phone, a wall charger, a data cable, some standard user manuals and quick start guides that tell you about the Xiaomi Mi 3, 3 and the Mi UI which is loaded on this. This is a customized Android ROM which comes loaded on Xiaomi Mi 3 along with a SIM ejector tool. The SIM on this phone is a mini SIM so you can install any standard SIM and you do not need to get it cut which is a big plus. Now next thing is design which is very important for a phone. So this is made up of some alloy material which is at the back and it is like a shell which covers it from all the sides as you can see this phone. It does not have many pieces, it's one single shell which holds all the components and there is a thick glass at front which seals it all together. The glass at front is a Gorilla Glass 3 which means that it gives a very good high protection from scratches. Let me turn off the display and show you that there are no scratches at all on this display and even if you rub it with a metallic object, you won't get as many scratches as you would get on any regular glass. This is fairly good and tough and strong. It is among the best glasses that you get on flagship smartphones these days. It is Gorilla Glass 3. Because of the curves of this phone, it is easy to hold, it does not slip out of the hand, it feels really good. It is lightweight enough, it is not very bulky, easy to carry, a very good and apt form factor. It comes with a 5 inch display at front. This display that you see is full high definition 1080p display and comes with very good and vibrant colors. And one very interesting fact about this display is that you can actually control this display to a very good level. You have control on color temperature as well as saturation. So if you prefer warm displays, you can set it to warm. I prefer cool displays so I have set it to cool. There is color saturation in which you can select it to be brilliant which will give you a bit of punchy colors like you see on AMOLED kind of displays but when you put it to standard it will be more realistic colors. So it gives you a very pleasant and soothing display and you can actually customize it as per your needs. The viewing angles on this display are also very good so I'll turn the phone to extreme angles and still you can see the icons on the screen. It's not getting dull or faded. This is something which is really brilliant about this phone. You can view it from extreme angles, say you're watching a movie or a video on this display. So you won't find it troublesome at all. I'll give you some gaming samples as well as video playback in the following sections. But let's jump right away to the camera first. So camera is something which I believe is one of the strong points of this phone. It has a 13 megapixel camera which comes with HDR mode touch to focus, geotagging and all the features that you would expect from a flagship phone. It takes very sharp pictures, the shutter speed is very fast and the clarity of the images is really good. There is also a 2 megapixel front facing camera and the rear camera also supports HDR mode and if you want to control it manually you can do that. Just go to settings and you have to go to advanced settings and turn off the simple mode. Once you turn off the simple mode, you get much more advanced options like controlling the white balance, exposure settings, etc. and use it like a manual camera. It's very good and easy to use. You can also put it in manual focus mode, which is very interesting. I'll quickly give you a demo. So say I have two objects lying at different uh, distances and I'm using manual focus here to focus on the far object or the rear object. Uh, all I need to do is just go to manual focus and change my focus accordingly. 
so as you can see as soon as i move my slider up or down the focus shifts from the near object to the far object so i can take a click with this focus and now i can focus on the rear object this is very cool feature and you don't get many cameras which will offer you such features you can put it to auto focus and also in that focus mode you can touch on the object where you want to focus so if i want to focus on that car which is behind this ball so i can just tap here take a shot if i want to focus on this ball i click here the aperture and the depth of fields are also very impressive as you can see this ball is very clear in focus and the car at the back is totally out of focus whereas in the other shot this car at the back is totally in focus whereas this ball is slightly out of focus so the depth of field why this camera is really good i'll also show you a few hdr samples which i clicked with this phone so this is one shot which i took with the lit background and this is without hdr as you can see the bottom part of the image is pretty dark and this is with hdr on you can see the difference clearly the bottom part is fairly lit the colors are much more balanced and the details are much better in the candles that you see here compare it with a non hdr mode where you will find that the front objects are fairly dark compared to the other hdr shot so it gives some really impressive results this is another shot taken with hdr and this is without hdr if i zoom in closely onto this metallic sculpture you will see that it is silverish and is very highly lit whereas in this object you will see the contrast levels are really high and the image is really sharp and it is giving you a much better color tones in the hdr shot so the hdr on this phone really works well you can also shoot full high definition videos and in our video test we found that it works pretty well the front facing 2 megapixel camera is also fairly decent for taking shots selfies and also doing video conferencing or video calling after camera let me talk about the performance and gaming so i'll quickly give you a gameplay demo of the asphalt 8 which is one of the heavy graphics games it will give you a fair idea of how well it renders graphics how well it performs when running high performance applications like the asphalt 8 airborne as you can see the graphics are coming out to be really great we are able to drift very well we are able to drive aggressively and it does not stutter at all there is no frame drop there are no jerkiness or any feeling that it is under powered it's fairly powered and is running really smooth the gaming experience is really amazing on the Xiaomi Mi 3 We have done a series of videos on Xiaomi Mi 3 so do check out the other videos as well the links are provided in the description section below We have done videos on reasons to buy Xiaomi Mi 3 in which we talk about all the positive points we have also done a video on some reasons to not buy a Xiaomi Mi 3 so do check out our other videos as well After gaming let me quickly show you the video playback quality on the Xiaomi Mi 3 Let me show you how well it plays and how loud it is. So I'll turn the volume to maximum to give you a realistic idea of how loud it is. The speakers are at the bottom, which is here. And let me play the video. Let me set the quality to high definition. This one click digest, and this is the Samsung NX Mini, which has been just revealed. This is yet to enter India, and it will be launched exclusively on Amazon.in at a price starting around twenty-four thousand. This one will cost around twenty-eight thousand five hundred. Comes with a lens of nine to twenty-seven. Good thing is that the sound is not muffled even if you put the phone directly on some surface because the speakers are at the side of the phone and it will not block the audio. Notification: This is a smart camera by Samsung. It is fairly sleek and comes with connectivity options like NFC and Wi-Fi. After video playback let me talk a bit about the specifications which this phone offers so I'll quickly take you to the about phone section and as you can see it is part by android version 4.4. which is KitKat and the latest version of the android that you can get right now apart from that it runs MIUI version 5 which is the latest version of the MIUI from Xiaomi and it is a very cool operating system 
layer built over the Android version. You can check the best features of the MIUI in a separate video. The links are provided in the description. Apart from that, talking about the storage setting, it comes in 16 and 64 gigs variant. Unfortunately, in India, you get only 16 gigs variant, so you have around 12 GB of free memory. Apart from that, you can use Mi Cloud, which is a cloud storage, and you can also use other cloud storage services to expand the storage. And as you can see here, around 13.39 GB is the total space that it offers. And for me, after using it for around week or 10 days, I have already used around 5 GB of it and 8.45 GB is available. If you want to get more memory, you need to buy the 64 gig variant, which is not available in India. It is available in some international markets, but you can't get it in India right now. Apart from that, it is part by a Snapdragon 800 2.3 GHz quad core CPU has 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB internal memory out of which around 13 GB is available and runs MIUI. So specifications are fairly top notch on this phone and you get an impressive set of cameras on this phone. Talking about the battery life, I find that the battery on this phone lasts very well. It easily lasts me one full day and on normal usage, you may use it for even two days because it's not consumed as fast. So I'll quickly show you uh, the battery pattern. In three hours, I have drained around 11% of the battery. Going by this figures, it means that it will easily last for 20 to 30 hours, which is one full day of usage on moderate usage. If you're a heavy user and play a lot of games, it will still last for more than 10 hours. Now let me talk about one very important feature, which is the software interface of this phone, which is actually a USP of the Xiaomi phones. They come with Mi UI, which is a very customized version. Right from the lock screen, you will see the customization. So you can directly unlock by sliding this downwards. Open with the dialer, camera application or messaging application. If you are in dark and want to turn on the flashlight quickly, just hit on the power button and long press on the home key. It will turn on the flashlight at back and to turn it off, just hit the power button again and you can turn off the flash. It is very cool feature. If you want to play music and do not want to unlock the phone, does not matter. Just hit on the power button, double tap here and it takes you to the media player directly. You can play tracks, change tracks, etc. all from the lock screen without going into the music player. Well, let me unlock the phone and get into the user interface and show you some cool features. So this green bar on top that you see is actually the battery bar. It saves some notification area here and the notifications are here. You have quick toggles. It also shows you how much data you have consumed and how much data is remaining. It comes with some custom applications which include security application which provides you the data information, data consumption and what all apps are using, what all permissions. So you can block applications by permissions. You can blacklist numbers. So if you do not want to receive messages or calls from certain numbers, you can very easily block them. There are power settings in which you can set it on power saving mode on a scheduled usage. Apart from that, you can also set the performance mode to normal high performance or power saving mode, which will give you different battery results. The inbuilt browser is also fairly fast. I have tested it and this is among the fastest internet browsers on any Android phone that I have seen so far. The rendering is super fast. The performance as well as the response time on this browser is very good. I really love the way it performs and it is very well optimized to work on an Android phone. I love Chrome browser. I have it here, but this is first time for which I'm using other than Chrome browser on an Android phone. And I really love the way the browser has been customized. The messaging application gives you options to block contacts or messages from certain contact straight away. So this is a promotional message and I do not want messages from this contact again so I can easily block this number it's very easy just hit here and hit block so next time I receive messages from this sender I will not receive it in my inbox in case there is a particular contact from which I want to see messages always on top I can just open the message just hit pin conversation and it will now always be on top this is like pinning something on top of your a desktop or something like that and it will never go down even if other messages appear they will go downwards you can also have some secret messages or hidden messages for that you just need to slide down here 
a bit more a bit more and you will see the lock message this is the private message area where you can add contacts and they will not appear in your normal inbox to see those messages you will have to slide down again 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 and wait for some time and it will take you to private messages you can make it password protected if you like so it comes loaded with a lot of customization the dialer the applications the calendar everything has been customized these icons are live icons so this is showing me the live weather of my city this is showing me today's date so today is 14th of august when i'm recording this video so it is very nice small touches like dropping down music application will open up a pop up like this dropping down an application like notes will give me a pop up note like this so i can quickly type a test note this will be saved when i exit from here and this will not go away so this test note is already here it will not be deleted when i'm inside a call i'm talking to someone and i want to uh take some quick notes i can just hit note and take some note within the call it's very easy and it's very intuitive i can just come out return to the call hang up the call and it will show me the notes saved within my notes application it also gives you option to record conversations or set some contacts to record conversation whenever they call reject calls from a certain number so when it comes to the user interface it is fairly fairly loaded and comes with a lot of features we have done a separate video which comes with all the best features of the mi ui so do check out the other video as well i'm linking the same in the description section below we are also doing a set of videos on reasons to buy and not buy the xiaomi mi 3 talking about one more important feature which is the call quality i don't find any trouble with the call quality signal reception when it comes to using the xiaomi mi 3 the data reception i'm using an airtel 3g sim there is no problem when it comes to 3g data or the wifi connection is also very fast and it also shows you real time connection i'll show you how to turn it on in our other video so do check out our tips and tricks video the call clarity is very good on speaker call as well as on the earpiece let's move to our next section which is value for money and overall impressions of the xiaomi mi 3 the xiaomi mi 3 is retailing at around 14000 rupees on flipkart and it is going on flash sales from different dates so you have a limited quantity available for a limited set of time for which you have to order this phone you also have to pre register on the xiaomi website or flipkart if you want to participate in the next flash sale this kind of model is bit irritating for many users but it is not that bad if you really want to buy one i suggest that you register for this and you wait for the next flash sale which is happening in around weekly intervals now and you can get hold of a xiaomi mi 3 at 14000 rupees why this phone is selling out so fast is because it gives you the specifications features and build quality that you will find only in flagship kind of phones which sell a head of 25000 rupees mark which is approximately 1.5 times the price of Xiaomi Mi 3 this is an incredible value for money device in its segment and you will not find any device which is close to it in the price segment so in terms of value for money this is a very high value for money phone which is the sole reason that it is going out of stock in seconds of its flash sale start my overall impressions after using this for one week is that this phone comes with a very good and minimalistic ui it is very intuitive and easy to use and once you start using you will love the way it is so fluid and easy and comfortable and intuitive you can customize it with a lot of theme options it comes with good quality of build good audio video quality good sound quality clear audio reception good gps navigation system overall i'll give it a thumbs up in our detail review video if you want to purchase a xiaomi mi 3 i'll leave some direct links in the description below where you can go and register for the xiaomi next flash sale in india we have also done a lot of other videos on xiaomi mi 3 so do check out the other videos as well the links are provided on your screen as well as in the description section below if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below for more such videos stay subscribed by pressing the subscribe button this is your host rohit khurana signing off thanks for watching